bright eyes, big smiles. Olivia, Aubrey, and baby Catherine. This is the before picture, before the most mundane of things changed their lives. Four-year-old Aubrey simply tripped and fell walking, smacking her head so hard on a concrete path, she almost died. We knew when the accident happened, she suffered a subdural hematoma so severe that she was within minutes of losing her life. Aubrey lay in a coma for nearly a month and had two brain surgeries. I thought it would be something where she would just wake up. Everyone's praying for her to wake up, and her awakening has just been a very slow progression. Aubrey is now at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Her recovery is long and slow, like a marathon, but they're patient and hopeful. I want people to know that she is so strong and so brave. Um, the strongest and the bravest little girl I've ever met. Aubrey is getting all kinds of therapies, physical, occupational, art. Every day, she's a little stronger, a little more Aubrey. Go, let it go. She's remembering favorite characters and songs. Head, knees <laughs> and toes. Good job. While Megan has been at the hospital for the past three months, Billy has been at home with their other two girls and trying to work. They just put their faith in faith. We just need prayers that she'll continue to make progress and we'll continue to make those steps towards um, having Aubrey back. Megan is so grateful to everyone who's shown their support on Facebook, sporting Fight Aubrey bracelets. Schools, churches, even the firehouse has gotten involved. Bernice created this GoFundMe page and they're almost at their goal. But Megan says it's prayers that make miracles, not money. And that's what they truly need. The only reason she's here is from all of the prayers and support that our community has given us. Truly the paramedics that saved her life, the neurosurgeon that gave her the best chance that she could get, and her rehab team and nurses being her biggest cheerleaders. If you would like to follow Aubrey's journey or to learn some more information about how you can help, we put all the links and all the information right on our website, fox29.com. I'm Karen Hepp, Fox 29 News.